All right, so to make the app I just demoed, we're gonna need to make a new project. So you go to File, New, New Project. Let's call this one List App. Not very imaginative, I know, but it describes what the app's gonna be doing. Just click all the default settings, and our main screen is gonna have a big plus button on it, so you're gonna to wanna to click Basic Activity. Main Activity, and just wait for it to finish loading. Great, so now that the app's finished building, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is design the UI. So, as you saw by the app demo, the main screen is going to have a floating action button, this guy right here, and a list view. The edit note screen is just gonna have a text view and another floating action button. So let's go ahead and make that. We're going to delete the default hello world, go to containers, and drag in a nice list view. Put that in the middle of the screen, and it takes everything up. Now, go to your constraints over here, and make them all zero so that the list view can fill up the entire screen. Otherwise, it's going to have spaces on each side, and it's just not going to look right. So, to edit the floating action button, you have to go to activity main.xml. Let's make this guy a little bigger. I like it at 60 density independent pixels, so. Now, the plus icon you saw doesn't come standard in the Android Studio um, drawables, so we're gonna need to go to Mip map, right click on that. Go to new and then image asset. So that'll bring up this little wizard here. Go, to, go ahead and click on action bar and tab icons, clip art. And then you can just search for plus. It's not that it's add. So double click on the add or, and then go to that. So we're gonna want this to be completely white. So you go to custom, custom color. And for, for the hex code for an entirely white icon is six F. So that's just completely white. Choose and then do whatever you want with the padding, whatever you think looks nice. Let's make this called IC. Finish that, and then we can change this little mail icon to the add icon that we want. That's uh, not going to do that for me. I guess I'm going to have to go click on this and search for it. So when that loads, you can go ahead and search for IC underscore add. Click OK, and then you'll have a nice little add button there. Now. Um, it's hard to make your own palette, hard to know what conforms to material design standards and also looks nice. So for palette making, I, I like to use a website called Material Palette. You click on a couple colors that you like and it makes the palette for you. So I'm just going to drag this in over here. So for this app, I liked the green and light green color scheme. You guys can do whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to go with for this one. Light green, green. Now this will give you all your colors that you can use in your app. So in your app, if you want to edit all the colors, go to values, colors, and you see you'll have your primary, primary dark and accent color. Just go ahead and copy these from your material palette and you will, um, you'll be able to use those in your app. Let's see automatically copies to clipboard. Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drag this screen over to my other monitor so it's easier to drag, to get the colors. So it's my dark primary. I got my primary. 
and this is my accent. Now, another really nice thing about Android Studio is that it shows you little previews of the colors on the sides there. In some cases, you also have to go to your manifest and edit the, um, the colors, but in this case, no. So, see now in activity main, it's already edited all the colors for me here. It's the color um, uh, values are done like this so that you can just have several colors that you use throughout the app and you don't have to keep going back and forth and hard coding them all in in every case you need to use them. So now that's that now that that's done, um, we're gonna go ahead and make the other activity. So to do that, go to Java new activity. And there's gonna we only need one we need another floating action button on this. So we're gonna go to basic activity again. Let's call this one edit note. Let's make the title of it edit your note. Now we we want to have a little back button so that you can go back to the main activity. You can either do it that way. Or if you just want to use the floating action button to make them go back, make the users go back to the main activity, you can do that. If you want to have a back button in the top left corner, like this, you can use hierarchical parent. Just to show you guys, I'm going to do that, just to have it as an option for users. So you click main activity, and now automatically, when the user clicks on the top left button, it'll bring them back to the main activity. I'm going to click finish there. It often takes a second to make a new activity since it's adding a completely different module to the app. So you're going to want to go into here. For consistency's sake, we, um, we want to make both the floating action buttons the same size. And because we already put in all the colors, it's going to make them automatically the same color. Great, now that that's finished building, um, you can see in your edit note.java, it already has um, the floating action barcode in there. We'll make use of that in a little bit. Right now, go to your activity edit note. Click on the floating action bar and again change the size to 60 dp. Or whatever you think looks good. I like 60. It may look kind of big now, but when you actually run the app on most devices, it looks pretty nice. So you're going to need to include a new drawable for the checkbox. So go to MipMap. You guys have already done this once, and something like this only really takes one try to do. So great, now we're gonna do the same thing. Go over to where it has the drawable for the little email sign. Click on the three dots, the ellipsis. Then you're gonna to wanna to go search for IC underscore check. Click okay, and you'll have your check button there. The other part you're going to need for editing the note is an edit text. So go in here, click multi, drag the multi-line text in and put it somewhere near the top. Don't know exactly where that went, so I'm gonna drag it in again. Android Studio is being kind of fickle right now. Oh, that's my bad. This You can't do that in the activity.xml. It has to be in the content main.xml or content edit note.xml. So go to um, text again, drag in your multi-line text, and plop it right there at the top left. Let's make it reach all the way to the end. Okay, not like that. Change the margin to zero, and the left margin to zero as well. That puts it straight in the middle. Now go to layout width, click on match constraint, and you're good. So 
So that's essentially all the design work we're going to have to do aside from editing IDs, but we'll get to that in the more programming section of this app.